Now we're going to add the water extractors in. And I'm going to add three because that's what we need. So we go to our water extractors. Now, one thing I can... They, these don't snap very well, okay? But what I do want to show you is... You can see that the wire... See that white... Or green I don't know what color it is wire frame I think it's white wire frame in the water this is this helps you line things up what I'm really wanting to show you here is how aligned it is to the actual foundations you know I can rotate these a bit but it's pretty much well almost parallel if I'm correct could be wrong here uh, yeah, there you go. It's almost parallel. Now, the reason why I'm pointing this out, and this goes all the way back to that video where I first talked about our first foundation. And our first foundation, we, uh, and if I bring up, I'm just going to change my uh, screen again here to the recording only. There we go. And when we created that first ever foundation, remember how I rotated the foundation when I was pointing directly north, like so. And the foundation was square onto north. By doing that there has made this water extractor that we're putting down now be aligned nicely up against the foundation here you can see it's pretty much or almost 100% parallel there. So that's something to keep in mind and explaining why the um, why that first foundation and why north is in having it square to north can help with certain things like this. Um, yeah, so going back down to here. So we're building the water extractor. Now, you can bring it pretty close. The water has to be deep enough. Uh, when it gets to a certain point, it says uh, resource is not deep enough. Um, and if you get it too close, it can be um, a bit sort of not nice looking. I'm going to kind of have it here. Back a little bit. Now, the next one, this is the trick. Looking at the wireframe in the water how it's going red, it's encroaching. This is how you can get the, the alignment. There's no snapping with the grids in here, unfortunately. Maybe that'll come in a future version. But right now, the best thing you do is just get a little bit of as close as you can and just be happy with, with that. Now, what we can do next is I'm going to place a... Um, I'm going to place, I'm going to get a little bit of height here. I'm going to remember this one here. So it's kind of, they do and don't align. That's where I want to be there. And this one kind of is going to be here. Notice the line doesn't appear until you're in the air. So some ways you can do it is to stand on the nozzle here and even that's not high enough but once you get the there you go and i think there is what i want and then the next one again so this is just one way you can join the three together it's not the only way you could have run the pipes over and put put um, pipe connectors here now I'm also going to, just because this is the way I do it, I'm going to put a split in between each one. And this will be how my pipes are shared. So let's connect all these up. That one's there, and that one's there. That one's going to go... And 
Oops, it didn't connect. So this connector here and this connector here is the ones I'm going to send up to here, to these two up here. So looking up there, we'll bring them down. Um, let's go here. Uh, oh, actually, I don't need to come into here. I can use my hotkeys. Hot oh, I accidentally unbound that one for some reason then. Three and four. Radio here. This is where you can get a little bit OCD. Everyone likes a good bit of OCD. And then you can simply come to this one here. Now, the R key, toggle build, build mode, is there's three of them. They don't really show much right now. You can see they have different shapes. I'm going to explain that in some more detail soon when we do. They work better with uh, heights and that. So for the time being, uh, I think this is here. And this one come down to here. And there we go, we've got some nice uh, square lines and it looks pretty. And pretty is important. Now, the last feature is you need power for these 